Hey everybody, thanks for watching and coming to Grace Lutheran Church's Facebook page, YouTube page, website, wherever you're at. Um, my name is Kelsey and I'm the Director of Christian Education and Youth Ministry at Grace Lutheran Church. We have now started in-person worships, which means our uh, worship videos are not um, pieced together, but our uh, one service from the 9 o'clock service that we get to do in person with 25 people. I'm not going to be there for my safety and others, um, specifically my fiance who works with people in group homes. I want to try to keep everybody safe. Um, and so I am going to do separate children's sermons every week for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoy and get to interact. So this week's lesson is uh, Jesus feeding the 5,000. That is our gospel. That is uh, what you hear, will hear Pastor Crace preaching on. And I am just extremely in awe because this week's uh, theme for Who's Our Neighbor summer program is hunger. And one of the things we've read was Jesus feeds the 5,000. And what does it mean to feed people? Normally we talk about food. Um, specifically with Who's Our Neighbor, we talk a lot about food insecurities and there are maps that you can explore. There's a really cool activity families can do. Um, it's called uh, The Hunger... I don't know. I'm so sorry. Um, but it's a hunger activity where families get to sit down at a table and have a bowl of rice and a banana and get to talk about, you know, are they still hungry? What fills them up? What doesn't? Um, it's a cool um, activity to be able to talk with your family and your kids about what does it mean um, to be hungry. Other people are, are we blessed enough to have the resources? Um, but going back with Jesus Feeds the 5,000, one of the coolest parts to me is that everybody was there and Jesus and the disciples were like, how are we going to feed these people? Um, they're all ready to listen to you, but they're also pretty hungry. And no one had thought to bring food because they weren't planning to feed 5,000 people. But a child came along with five loaves of bread and two fish. Um, and selflessly said, here, take my five loaves and two fish. Um, when I was little, my mom always told this story. Uh, well, she still tells it. I'm going to be honest. Um, you may have heard me tell it before, but, uh, you know, my mom heard me talking with a friend when I was little up in my room and my friend had asked for gum. I said, oh, it's my last piece of gum, but here you can have it. Um, and my mom later talked to me about it and I said, mom, there's more at the store. You know, I don't need to hold on to one piece of gum because I want it. There's more at the store. Uh, so this week and in, in reading Jesus Feeds the 5,000 and in talking about hunger with Who's Our Neighbor curriculum, uh, I want to empower you uh, and I want to empower you to have you explore ways that you can give to those who are hungry, to those who are homeless, to those who have less resources. Um, volunteering is always great, but we're in a time that sometimes volunteering doesn't feel safe. Um, and so what resources at home do you have that you can give? And it can be time, it can be money, it could be food donations. Um, you know, it could be making PB&Js for a local church who's given out um, PB&Js to people who need it. Um, but Jesus feeds the 5,000 story obviously is a, a miracle story about Jesus feeding all these amazing people with only two loaves, two fishes, and five loaves of bread. Um, and it shouldn't have fed 5,000, but there plenty were fed and there were leftovers. Um, yes, it's a fantastic miracle, but the coolest part to me is how this kid comes up with this food and he says, here, you can have it. Um, so what, especially in this time of us being so focused on our health and our family safety and school and all this other stuff, can you look outwards and be able to help others and be selfless in some part um, of your life. Again, food, money, time. Um, yeah. Have a great day and I uh, hope you get to feed yourself and uh, you get to feed the world not just with food um, but also with God's grace.